Let's set the record straight. This is not Windows 10, but Windows 11. Well, how? Join me to check out all changes within this Windows 11 mod. Take a look briefly at the setup process. It's using Windows 10, which is in line with what this is. Windows 11 try to look like Windows 10. It's not wrong, but it's nice. At the second stage of the setup, there's a bit of a weird action in the CMD with that stuff. <laughs> After waiting for roughly 5 minutes, there's that Windows 11 OBE still left in, just in case there's anything you want to set up. Here we are on the desktop after I've just installed VMware tools, and we can see from the surface it's really just Windows 10 with the desktop, the icon, the taskbar, with all those buttons and flowers like the news and interest and notifications things there. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that the watermark at the bottom right corner of the screen which directly identifies that this is Windows 11 version 21H2. Apart from that one, well this is basically again look like Windows 10. Next, the flouts such as time and date, sound, and networks are taken from Windows 10, but some of the texts are still using single UI variable. Moving to the start menu, the look is just straight up, reminding me of Windows 10 with those tiles at the right, but the thing that sets me off is the download icon for workware. Texts are still in Sego UI available, and icons for apps and programs are like Windows 11, but I don't know if those icons are supposed to be that, right? The search function is also taken from Windows 10, and you can just manually strip the web search part if you want to. Looking at the action center, it is also taken from Windows 10 with those glowing effects on buttons. Man, all those, all, all these so far will convince me that this is Windows 10 if I haven't even noticed that the little detail difference like the different fonts for texts. Wow! Opening the file explorer, the ribbons, well, the ridiculously big address bar, and the objects of the quick access are just easily replicated. And moving to this PC, the ribbon corresponds to the directory it's in. Fantastic! All the icons are also changed to the Windows 10 version. Navigating through the C drive, by enabling compact view, you can see all icons for files and folders are reverted to Windows 10 variant. That's a pretty good attention to detail. <laughs> Next, control panel. There we go. The Windows 10 icons <laughs> with all their inconsistencies. Uh, no, just kidding. <laughs> Comparing to Windows 10 side by side, the difference is, well, nothing to be seen. This goes the same with the large icon view as well. The administrative tools change to Windows tools can be disregarded in my opinion. But look, the inconsistencies between icons from Windows 7 and Windows 10 are still here, right? Well, okay, okay. I think I think I should stop mocking Windows 10. <sighs> okay, listening to the system sounds on a sounds applet, and yes, those sounds have also been replaced with the Windows 10 version. Take a listen. Personally, I'd rather have the Windows 11 sounds, but hey, these sounds are supposed to be here because this mod tried to replicate the Windows 10 experience as detailed as possible. The Windows tools is just what you would expect from Windows tools in Windows 11. Well, nothing special. Alright, going to the settings app in this mod, apart from the icon differences which makes this more like server 2022 i assume <laughs> but anyway the icons on the home page are taken from windows 11 since i safely theorized that the settings app is taken from build 21996 or early 22000 like 22001 and 22000.9 all applets and options in the settings are working as they should be including the themes yeah the theme is Windows 10, such as the default dark Windows 10, the default light version, the Windows 11, and flowers. Taking a pit stop at the desktop, 
by right-clicking, the arrow pointer or icon is smaller than the actual Windows 10 variant as you can see with this comparison. A bit of a cheeky miss, but I mostly don't really care that much. As for system applications, Calculator has been reverted to the earlier version from December 2020. Notepad, Paint and Wordpad are all seen here. Both Notepad and Paint are reverted to the earlier version which still uses a Windows 10 version while using the new icon. Yeah, that's the thing back in early build 2000. Scrolling to the start menu, the Windows Media Player is in here added to the start menu list rather than tucked away in the Windows Tools applet. The application is just working like what it should be, nothing added or nothing removed. If it works, don't touch it, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. This goes the same with Windows Fax and Scan, but I kinda know like why this one's tucked away or removed, I don't really remember, but well, because the design is really old, like from Windows 7, but in Windows 10, they aren't even shy to show it in the start menu. One thing that I didn't think changed is the magnifier. If you look carefully, the settings icon is from Windows 11 rather than this one from Windows 10. Apart from that, well, here's the on-screen keyboard. The task manager, that's well, nothing changed. It's just Windows 11 21H2 version. Snipping tool. Snip and sketch. Solitaire, which I'm very sucked at. And Microsoft Edge, if any of you used it. Some details that I don't want to miss in this mod is that the Aero Snap animation is reverted back to Windows 10 version, which is actually a modified, less glassy version from Windows 7. The Windows suggestion from Windows 10 is also in here. The All Tab interface is no exception to revert to the Windows 10 version. So far, I really love this mod, well, aside from that glitch, <laughs> but seriously, this is a pretty well done mod. Like, I can experiment with this via Verta machine. Even the Windows Plus G shortcut takes you to the Xbox Game Bar version for Windows 10. Pretty amazing! Using the shortcut, you can also utilize Virtual Desktop by using Control, Windows, and press D to open a new Virtual Desktop. I personally am the fan of this feature since I can utilize several Virtual Desktop for several purposes of the laptop or computer that I'm using. And also, don't forget about Windows applications such as Calendar, Camera, Music, Movies and TV, and Photos. By running Winver, although this is rebranded as Windows 10, well, this is actually Windows 11 version 21H2 build 22000.2538. This also can be proved with system information right there, as well as Windows settings. I know this is the earliest unsupported version of Windows 11 by Microsoft, but well, hey, this is Windows 11. You can still use this for the long term. Well, we can test one software to prove that this is Windows 11. Arc Browser, yeah, it would normally not install on Windows 10, unless if you do some hackery into it. <laughs> After waiting and setting up for a bit, well, look at that, the Arc Browser actually runs in here. With this good creation made by Like Life over YouTube, there are still things that need to be addressed sooner or later. When you run the snip and sketch, this screenshotting window doesn't run in full screen for some reason. Clicking the Task View button or pressing Windows and Tab crashes the Explorer. No Paint 3D and 3D Viewer. And some UWP apps need to be updated, which kind of defeats the purpose of reverting the app to the earlier version. Well, it's just getting you back forward. But hey, if you want to try these, well, you can. Just don't use it on the physical machine just yet, because this mod still needs some things to be reworked or to modify this a bit. 
Apart from that, well, this is a solid first mod that Lag Life created. Yes, the first mod. I wish I could make a mod, but due to college stuff, but I can't. But what I can do is...